The latest development in helicopter tow tugs is about to enter the market as AC Air Technology prepares to release its T1H2 unit. We've been making airplane tugs for, uh, for fixed wing for almost eight years now, seven and a half years, and we've been doing that, and it's track technology, and we've got a patent on that for track technology. And we've decided to go ahead and get into the helicopter business as well. At Heli Expo in Anaheim earlier this year, the Chino, California-based company didn't have to travel far for the new patented self-loading device to make its public debut. And what it is, it's remote controlled. So to unload the helicopter, what you do is you just back out from underneath it and there's little conveyors that roll the skid right out from underneath it. And then to load, you come up and the same conveyors just load right up underneath and then I can turn the conveyors off and now I can tow the tug. The rechargeable unit, which has a continuous runtime of 30 minutes, retails for around $17,000 and is powered by a pair of six inch wide treads, one on each side of the T1H2's 84 inch wide frame. The unit can load, carry, and unload any helicopter with skids up to 6,000 pounds. It's adjustable for any size skids on the uh, helicopter. It'll go on grass, dirt, concrete, asphalt, and uh, it's very maneuverable. Once secure on top of the tug, the operator can even operate the remote control from inside the helicopter to drive it back to the hangar. Weighing at 280 pounds, the tug can be fully disassembled without tools for easy transport. It's a very simple control. You only got, you know, forward, right, left, backwards, and then you got an on-off. So that's the power. And then we've got fast, medium, slow. And then we have a light option. We don't have the lights on here. And then this is for releasing. So right now it's in the tow mode and then release it. And now it's in the, re the uh, loading and unloading mode. So then once you get it loaded, then I switch that switch over and now I can tow. After facing some coronavirus-related slowdowns, the company expects to begin deliveries of the U.S. manufactured unit in July. Thanks for watching this AIN video. Please like, subscribe, and share it if you've enjoyed it. Also, visit AINonline.com for all the latest on the aviation industry.